Hey, Sneaky Lounge back again today. Today we're back, yeah, back really quickly with Solus OS. Oh yes, indeed. Now this is release candidate one. Now from the last one I had done, it's changed quite a lot. He's done his own little kernel stuff as well. He's been doing a lot of work. Now the guy behind this, Ike, used to work on the Linux Mint and Debian edition program. But he left, he won't tell me why, but we'll leave it at that. So you know he knows his stuff, okay? So we should get something nice and stable at the end of the day. So as you can see, we've changed everything here, so that's cool by me. On your desktop we have computer, we have sneaky home, and we have West Basket. Bear in mind that I have installed this to the system. Okay, that's all right. Then there we've got our Ethernet connection, here we've got our sound, and here we've got our notification appellate. So let's have a look. Set up chat. No, I don't want to do that just yet. So that's for doing your chat stuff and your mail maybe, but we'll go into it a bit further soon. Okay, our menu is over here. Now he's completely changed this, okay? He's completely changed it. He's now using something else. I forgot what he said he was using before. But as you can see, it's completely different. So you've got favourites and applications. A bit KDE-ish, if you know what I mean. I will remember what it's called in a minute anyway. So under here we get accessories. Lovely. Graphics. Lovely. Internet. Lovely. Office. Lovely. Sound video. System tools. Places and system. So we're going to accessories. You get, quite a few. get an archive manager, you get get it, you get an image viewer, root terminal, search for files, take a screenshot. Should you take a screenshot? Yeah, go ahead, we'll take a screenshot. If we do it now, yeah, take a screenshot. Yeah, and we'll save that there, okay? So that'll be there. Lovely. And there it is. And then look, should we open it up? We double click our little screenshot we've just taken. And there it is. Doesn't that look super of the duper? Oh yeah, I just took that. And I'm good. Okay, back to our menu again. Right, under graphics. GNU Paint, GSUM Image Viewer, and LibreOffice. There is no Gimpy here, but obviously you can use Snapchat to go and get it yourself. So no big deal. Internet, right, he's changed out Chrome from the browser to Firefox as its main browser now. And I think that's a good choice personally for me. I do prefer Firefox. Others may not. Thunderbird for your mail and news client, and XChat and Empathy. Empathy, right. We'll leave it back that well. So anyway, we'll start the browser. We'll open up the browser. Oh yeah. Let's open. And as you can see, it's Firefox. And here we are at the Solus page. I'm just going to click No there. And here we can tell you all about it. Do you want to read more about it? Yeah, of course we do. All I will say, since he's done his little tweaks, it's got an awful lot snappier. Yeah, it's a lot, lot quicker. Right, this is where you can download it from, if you so wish to do so. It's 871 megabytes, so it will not go on your CD, okay? So, don't worry about it. We'll just go quickly go through some of the stuff he's put here. He switched back to 3.00666 BFS PAE kernel. Gone back. It's fixed out the header issues, which there were. VirtualBox compilation and guest editions work. Well, they did before, I think. Well, it worked for me anyway. More backport in integration. Install and drive package now works on repo. Well, I, I didn't have a problem with that before myself, personally, but hey. Repository is now expanded to over 1.3 gigabytes of custom build stuff, or lots of custom build stuff. Fix some stuff here. Desktop experience now faster. I can guarantee that one. XChat now connects to Solus OS automatically. I like that also. We've done the Firefox and Thunderbird thing. Included a fork of Mint Desktop tool, Solus Desktop. See, that's where it came from. Remember what we said before? Because we were doing something like that before, weren't we? Yes, indeed. Now, has it got Flash out of the box? We're just going to have a look. I'll have a look. Go to the Bubba okay? And we're going to the home page of the Bubba I'm going to go to the iPlayer, and we'll just have a quick look to see what is going down on in the hood. Okay, so that was on last night, so we'll click on there and see what happens. And that's working out of the box. Lovely. I'm not going to play it through because I'll be breaking the law, wouldn't I? Good program there, was Anyway, that's another that one. Further, further, further on, under Office, we get, let's have a look, the full LibreOffice suite. Now, I'm not sure what version he's using here, so we're going to quickly have a look. I know it's LibreOffice 3, but I'm not actually sure, apart from that, what version we are using. It looks like the nice one, doesn't it? Look, it's a bit like the other one, I don't know if it. 343! Nice, I like it. It's very nice. Let's open that full screen. Lovely. I like the icons. Very nice indeed. Super of the duper. Lovely. Sweepy. LibreOffice. Nice. All done. So your Office Suite is all there. My printer worked out the box with it, so that's what it should do, really. I wouldn't expect anything else when I thought about it. But under sound and video, yeah, a few more bits in there. We've got Brazero still, so that's good. Gnome M Player Mini Tube, which is now fixed, apparently. Movie Player Open Shot Video Editor, thank you very much for doing that, Ike. Nice geezer. 
the Pulse Audio Manager, and Pulse Volume Control, Pulsey Pulsey, and more Pulse. Rhythm Box is my favourite. There is a sound recorder, and you still get VLC Media Player, so that's very good too. Under System Tools, we get quite a lot. We get a Configuration Editor, so that's pretty good. DJ Dupe, you need it, you know, you need it, lovely. A Service Pack Creator, a Software Log Viewer, my System Monitor, which I'm going to open up now and let you know. On this old dual-core machine, look at that. It's not actually doing anything at all, and it's a lovely desktop experience. Nice. I like it. Super. The installer worked really easy for me. It didn't take long to install. It's, it looks a nice GUI as well, by the way, so that's pretty good. But the system tools, I'm a tan. I also missed. Oh, system profile and benchmark is also there as well. Right. Solus OS RC1, release candidate 1, is a leaps and bounds ahead of the last one I've done, which was only a couple of weeks ago. Go and download it and give it a try on a full install and you will be very, very pleased with what you got. Lovely. Right, for Solus OS, I'm going to give this time is going to go up to 90%. Sneaky Linux liking going out. ICG's latest. Bye-bye.